Did you ever get into league? I did a little bit, but that was later, like in 2017. Yeah, was, my, my roommate at the time was like really into it. And so I was like, I always want to get into it, but I know I hear it's like toxic, blah, blah. He's like, no, man, just like, like we'll jump on together and stuff like that. So we started playing together. And I was like, oh, this is actually really fun. I didn't get into it until I, I want to say get into it. Um, I didn't really get into the concept and playing kind of playing it until the first time we went to GDC and I was able to make some friends, um, met some people from Riot and I think there were probably people talking about it. And I, at first I knew about the game, but it just, I didn't really get it, you know, at the time, like I was like, oh, you know, people were playing and all that. And what was the other one? Uh, Dota as well. Dota I, didn't really, yeah. Dota, I really didn't touch. I did watch other people play it and stuff, but I think, how would I say? Like, I didn't get into it till after that. And I got hooked up with the skin. And I was like, yeah, let me try it out. Let me got it. And I'm like, I love the character design. I love a lot of the other stuff that goes to go with it. And I love uh, where are all my money going. Please, no, come back. You know, I started <laughs> like, you know, started going through that rabbit hole. And, but I wasn't really playing to play. And yeah, and I think I got really, even when I was playing like this against bots, you, you got really kind of thrown into like some of like the toxic behavior with it. Yeah. And it really kind of really made it hard because, you know, okay. It's kind of like fighting games, right? Like, like you kind of hinted out earlier that you're playing a fighting game, you're trying to get, you know, trying to get good and stuff. But if you didn't start when everybody else started, you started like way later. You're you're fighting against people who got their the cores down, even if they're yep. not like diamond people or whatever. You got the cores down. So when you play a league, you don't have runes. You may not be level thirty. You don't have all the other stuff that everybody's already equipped in. And you're losing, be not because like you're bad at the game, but it's because you just don't have the stuff that really, like, really enhance your character sheet or whatever. And then you're still trying to learn all of that. So like sometimes you don't, you'll be getting beat by a character that you're not supposed to be losing to, right? Yeah. And it's just you didn't you find out like, oh yeah, I mean everybody's kind of already kind of ahead and stuff, and kind of got everything. They're already a few seasons in and stuff. So I, I know I didn't get too far into it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of nice learning. I got it to different YouTube videos because of that too. There's like watching yeah. people and all that. But it was definitely like a game that's like, oh, I, I think I picked it up, played it for a bit, played it on my time, met some friends with it. But I, it slowly, I slowly stopped playing it when some other factors really kind of get into it. And I just realized, oh, I'm not really a person that's, that's going to climb rank. I think that's yeah. what it was. Even when I was okay with playing against other people, I just wasn't a person that really climbed rank as much. It became a, to for me, it became like a like. I guess this is the kind of game that got me into like watching more esports stuff or just watching people play games in general, because mm -hmm. that's what League kind of became to me. It's like I, it's like I won't really play League, but I'll I'll watch like when the big championships are on and stuff like that every now and then. Mm -hmm. Like I, mean, I remember at one point when, I, I don't even know what it's today anymore since I don't really watch like TV TV. But they would show them on like ESPN and stuff like that, and I would watch a lot of sports, and they, and I'd be like, oh, and I would just go to ESPN to like watch like a show, and I'm like, oh, the League of Legends thing is on. Oh, well, I'll watch it. I'll just hang out, and watch this. You know what I mean? And so that opened up the floodgates for me to start watching people play games because there's a lot of games that I think are really really cool, but I just won't take the time for myself to actually watch them or play them. So like I'd rather watch someone else do it. Gotcha. Yeah, and I, I get it. Uh, you know when you. It sucks because you're you're watching people else people have fun, and that sucks. And a little bit like oh Stop. everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I I I've learned to change my brain to be like you know what? I'm just enjoying this. Like I need some background noise. I need something that I could just kind of turn my brain off and watch. So I'm just watch this person play this game that I probably won't really play because I don't like a lot of parts of it. But it looks mm -hmm. like a fun game in general. You know what I mean? I I get that. I think what what really got me to watch some people uh Magic use fly was one that i really like watching i think he got me more into league than anybody um outside of like you know me wanting to get better because his videos were funny uh they were kind of really yeah. dark stretch humor around the time but they were humorous like i i could watch the, the like you said the background music and sometimes you just kind of play episodes over, yeah. and over that you know you liked or whatever and that's i think that's what really got me and i think that's kind of got me when to like influencers can sell a game for sure like how yep. to play a game it gets you to really try playing that game too even if everybody else is telling you like don't do it it's a drug or don't do it it's like it is it's a certain rabbit hole i'm not sure you want to get into 
But, you know, it's like, oh, well, I'll try it just to see how it is. Everybody else seems to be having fun, even if they're yelling. 